All right, guys. I got uh, Amy a Valentine's gift um, on Valentine's Day. We got I got her this uh, firecracker bush. <laughs> It's great for for uh, pollinators to bring them in, and we're gonna put it over here because this is uh, drains better than most other places on the property. It's right on the edge of the of the mound here, so I'm gonna put it in the ground here, loosen it up, rough up the roots a little bit. Put a little bit more of this. So we'll back in there. Look how nice and dark and rich this soil is from the uh all these wood chips. You dig into the dirt and there's worms everywhere out here. All right, there she is. We'll see how she does. She'll bring in a lot of butterflies and honeybees and stuff like that for the garden. And hummingbirds. And hummingbirds. Yep. And this plant, just to let y'all know, um, does good in full sun to partial shade. So in the afternoon, it gets a little shady on this side. And um, this will, this grows fast. It will grow about three feet tall and about five feet wide. And it's good up until zone 9B, which we're on the edge of 9B, 9A. Um, so it should do well for us. And then uh, come this fall, We'll probably take some clippings and try to propagate it like we've done with others. And then, look, everybody's eyeballing the plant already. Good thing they're on the other side of the fence. <laughs> Alright guys, I am planting something I'm very excited about. I'm going to do the loofah gourd sponges. Alrighty, so... I got a little spot right here along the fence line where it's inside our garden area but the uh, chickens and the ducks won't really be able to get to it and the sport I'm going to give it is here this area has already been mulched so a lot of it as you can tell is just this nice rich mixed organic material and uh, it wants a Lufas grow best in loose organic soil, so this is going to be great. And then I am going to do, let's see, it comes about with 20 seeds, so I'm going to actually do two spots here. I'm going to put about four or five seeds in here, and then just loosely cover it up. And then I'm going to dig another spot a little bit further down. It, they need full sun, so I want to make sure the chickens and the ducks don't get to it. But that's it for planting the loofahs. Pretty easy. Um, we've been uh, busy in the herb garden. Um, we planted marigolds in with some of the other plants randomly. And I'm going to go through and let you know what we've done for the new stuff. Um, we planted dill, regular dill. Over here is my buzz button or toothache plant. Then here we planted cumin. Over there we planted uh, regular basil. And like I said, we just added to herbs we already have here. And going around this way. Um, see here here we planted parsley this one is going to be uh, mammoth Long Island dill this one is fennel and then this one is going to be big leaf basil 
and so we made our little keyhole garden a little bit bigger a little bit more to it with uh, all the other stuff we have and that is it um, around the property we went ahead and planted randomly uh, the Mexican sunflowers regular uh, mammoth sunflowers um, we went ahead and also um, planted um, some red velvet and lemon yellow queen sunflowers as well in just different areas around the property so this is it um, hopefully here with everything that we got going we'll be good to go that's our little herb garden and then I'm going to show you trim yeah we trimmed up the uh, banana trees now that the uh, frost is done and then here is the garden area we kind of arranged a little bit better so we got better access to everything got all the plants out in the sun so they'll start getting used to the summer heat here in Florida there's the raised bed that Donald made for me our corn rows more veggies and fruits and all the extra plants all right guys hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video give us a thumbs up comment subscribe hit the bell follow us on facebook twitter instagram and grow something for your family